Hi everybody, teacher Nick here, and I want to talk to you about decade and century lesson. This can this class can trip up kids really easily, and I don't want you to spend a lot of time on this because it's super easy if you just follow this simple little hint. I call these clues or hint. I'll say, hey, I've got a secret for you. You know, they get really excited and they listen. So you just say for let's talk about decade first, because that's the super easy one, right? Decade. All right. Let's talk about, get the pen out here, and let's do 1976, great year. All we have to do for decade is take that last number, turn it to a zero, and add an S. So now it's the 1970s. How simple can that be? They'll get it just like that. Well, some of the kids will get it just like that. All right, let's try another one. What decade is this? 893, we turn the three into a zero and add S. It's the 890s, right? Or the 1893, the 1890s. How simple is that? It's amazingly simple. All right, let's talk about century. A little bit different, but still super simple. The kids should be able to get this, okay? If you have a year that ends in zero, zero, all right, this is what we say. We circle the first two digits and it's the 19th century, right? Sorry about my penship there. But any other number that does not end in zero, zero, 1901, we add one to the first two digits and it's the 20th century super simple right why didn't we think of this before it's insane right 1492 plus one is the 15th century all right now if you kids don't get this and you still want to do some more training i do have a pdf in this class in this uh group you can just do a search on me and it's a little animation but you can just tell them the uh, tell the kids to count to three with you right one two three we always count one two three when we're talking about century one two one hundred first century right we just circle that it's the first century so 1901 to 2000 right we circle the first two digits, 20th century, right? Super simple. So I hope this helps you. If you if you need some further assistance, there, like I said, there is a PDF or an animation in this group. Just do a search on my name and you'll be able to find it. I hope this helps you. Um, it's helped me a lot and the kids really get it. Uh, it's, super it's super simple because it's just math. And they don't sit there and thinking about don't explain the 100 year. I mean, you have to tell them that it's 100 years, obviously, and it's 10 years for a decade. The other thing about decades, you could, and if I know the decade's a little weird because it starts at a zero and not a one, so 1990, but I tell the kids to hold up 10 fingers, right, and count with them 1990, 1991, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, right? 10 years. So it's always going to be 1990. To 1999. That's the only thing that's going to confuse them is the decade starts with zero and the century starts with a one. That's the hardest part is getting that through to them. But I hope this helps you. If it does, please comment below. Give me a like. I want you to succeed. I want to make it easier for you, okay? Happy teaching.